I'm holding in my hand a copy of Activision's Atari 2600 shooter, Sequest. It might not be as well known as games like Pitfall, but it's one of my favorites on the system, and I'll show you exactly why. In Sequest, you play as a submarine whose job it is to rescue stranded divers. According to the manual, your divers have retrieved the buried treasure and now you must come to their rescue. But that's not important. What is important are the gameplay mechanics. Now, in this game, uh, you get points a variety of ways. Obviously, one source of points are blasting sharks and subs, but you also get major points for surfacing with a full load of divers. That's six divers. And when you do that, not only do you get points for each diver, but you get points for the oxygen remaining. And when you surface, you also level up the game. When you level up, the sharks uh, are worth more points, but they also, you know, everything on the screen gets faster. And you level up every time you surface, depending on whether or not you have six divers. Uh, if you surface with fewer than six, uh, you actually lose one diver, and you don't get that bonus. And this is where the game has a surprising amount of strategy for scoring for an Atari game. You see, there are reasons you might want to time out your oxygen. Uh, there are reasons you might want to surface early to refill that oxygen for those bonus points or to skip a level. In fact, a user on Atari Age applied a lot of strategy to max out the scoring on Sequest, achieved this in only an hour and a half of play and also left a detailed spreadsheet account of exactly how he played every life of the game. And you can see that at stage 8, he's timing it out consistently. Uh, he wants to stay on stage 8, and the reason you want to do that is the value of the sharks goes up by 10 points every level, but they only go up to a maximum of 90 points. So that means that stage 8 is the easiest level in which the sharks will have the maximum point value. Now, if the game were just about milking level 8, it'd be a piece of cake, but that only accounts for a couple hundred thousand of its 1 million score. The rest is down to your reflexes and uh, split second decision making. And as far as that goes, there's actually plenty there too. Some formations you'll want to attack from the front, some from the back. And one thing you might notice too is that there's a patrol sub. And if you notice, I will always surface uh, behind the patrol sub because it always goes from right to left. And this makes for some really tense moments as you're running out of oxygen, trying to get divers before the time runs out, and you're also trying to surface without being uh, hit by the patrol. Uh, not only that, but you might have also noticed that when I shoot the fish, sometimes the diver turns around the other way. And that can be to your advantage or disadvantage depending on the situation. In that split second, you have to decide whether you should shoot the fish chasing the diver or try to scoop the diver up without doing that. And there's a bit of chance involved. I mean, you can shoot the fish in the hopes that the diver will turn around, but the diver might not. As the game gets faster and faster, your submarine does not, so you have to adjust your style of play to match the speed of the game. And as the game speeds up, you'll be uh, having to choose targets more selectively. You know, you can't pick off everything on the screen anymore. And because of that, there's also a lot more maneuvering between these rows of bobbing fish and ships. Ha, fish and ships. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I play uh, games like Sequest, but I also play traditional top view shooters. And, uh, you know, these both have a lot of skimming, y you know, maneuvering so you're almost hitting something, but not quite. Uh, there's a lot of that in Sequest as it speeds up, especially on difficulty A, which is how I prefer to play Sequest. On B, you fire much faster and can take out way more targets. On A, you really have to be... Uh, aiming a lot more, uh, which I prefer. It's a lot more satisfying. So, uh, when you play Sequest, be sure to set it to A. You know, the first few times I played Sequest, I wasn't super impressed. I mean, it seemed pretty shallow. Um, but then I started playing it more for score. 
and one day I was playing it with a friend, and we were playing it two players alternating, trying to beat each other's scores, and it kind of dawned on me that there's more to this game than meets the eye. Not only that, but uh, I gotta recommend Sequest because not only does it have really nice gameplay uh, with a decent amount of replay value, you can go for really ridiculous scores without that marathon King of Kong kind of time commitment. And it has a really nice difficulty curve where it uh, starts out slow enough but uh, speeds up without uh, spending too much time. I mean, my games tend to be about 10 to 15 minutes, which is perfect for a game like this. I don't know if you caught that, but I just surfaced without enough divers, and the game leveled up, the sharks turned red, uh, and I didn't get any bonus. Now let's talk about the graphics for a second. Uh, you know, this game has great graphics for the Atari 2600. The, uh, it has that trademark Activision Sunset. It has a lot of sprites on the screen, even though they're all in rows, which was a uh, limitation of the system. It has a really cool water effect on the surface that's fairly convincing. And the graphics are fairly well detailed for the system, too. You can tell what everything's supposed to be. The divers uh, you know, have little bubbles coming out of them. You can see your propeller on your sub moving. Uh, the sharks are snapping. It, it's a, a pretty lively game. And I feel like the graphics, as simple as they are, have a decent amount of character. Which isn't surprising because this game is from the same author who did Frostbite later. And that game's got just loads of personality. So there you go, that's Sequest, a pretty remarkable Atari 2600 game. It has really nice graphics, uh, gameplay is short and sweet, and it has plenty of depth that'll have you coming back for more. Get it? Uh, depth? Submarines? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just, um, I'll just show myself out.